couldn't understand why then uh, we would have uh, evil and uh, God is powerful and almighty and uh, it couldn't make sense in any way. So it remained a silent question all my life until I met the divine principle. And when I had all the, uh, the identity of Satan, yeah. he was an archangel and uh, all the kind of... Uh, it was so profound. I remember uh, I went home and I didn't sleep for the next three days. <laughs> Every time I went to bed, I would think over and think over how true that is. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was such a great uh, joy. And then after knowing that Satan, that's how Satan came into being, then I've been wondering how will Satan be arrested and destroyed and uh, then the kingdom to come. And... Uh, uh, no. fr from what we read today, the binding of Satan, yes. uh, then my answers uh, now come true <laughs> 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 because <laughs> I have really, really been desiring how to arrest Satan and, uh, and uh, put him away in some way. Uh, but we, when we, what we read here is from the book of Revelation uh, that he will be put away for a thousand years. Uh, the ancient serpent, uh, the, devil. the devil, and Satan uh, will be bound. Uh, he will be bound by uh, the Lord of the Second Coming, the Messiah and uh, put in chain and in a, a bottomless pit uh, and uh, closed and uh, he will therefore have no activity that's the teachings of Sang Myan Moon uh, he will have no activity and therefore that time the Messiah and God will start their activity to with human beings, with us, the, his, uh, God's children, uh, to renew our uh, the fulfillment of the three blessings and uh, begin a complete new world, and that's what will make the new civilization and the old civilization that we have known already until now this civilization doesn't make sense because in this civilization we still have uh, 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 skin color problems we have uh, rich and poor we have uh, uh, secret powers that uh, control the Vatican money uh, here in America, there is all this federal stuff which some people make the money and uh, control. Even the, we, we, they control things and they control millions and control power. So that's not civilization. Yeah, we see uh, in Africa, which is the richest continent in the world with so much known there, it is the poorest. <laughs> so, what kind of civilization is this? King Solomon's mind is there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We see most populated uh, countries like China. Mm. It can be said now that China is becoming a superpower economically. Mm. But if you know the amount of poverty, with the billions of people there, you cannot call it superpower. Mm. So America, even if it is the way it is, people's lifestyle are a bit better, civilized, civilized than China, no matter what. 
China can never catch up with America in the life standards, in the roads, in the road systems, in the freedom of speech and freedom of human, right. uh, human rights and many things. It's not absolutely on the top or like the way God would like. It's not according to the ideal standards of God. But it is at least to some level of Christianity allowing that amount of free will that God gave to humanity. And it is, uh, it, uh, the good thing is we have seen it, America keeps on growing. It has come and overcome its, uh, the, the levels of civi uh, the civilization they had those days of slavery. And they abolished slavery and went through a, a period of struggle until the civil rights. That's right. Then the civil rights brought in absolute freedom for the slaves. Now, over that period again, there has been the uh, uh, show, showing of possibility of equality that now we have a black president uh, in the White House in a country where the blacks had been slaves uh, for 400 years. So we see the transformation taking place in America. And therefore there seems to be that uh, this can be a great possibility of uh, absolute uh, freedom. And uh, when we know how much true parents invested in America, in teaching the divine principle, in bringing about uh, all these uh, religious and the uh, true father also here in America um, uh, introduced the able UN and a council to go into the UN of religious people of harmony and they have, we have this book we are reading here as the greatest tool that can bring that civilization uh, showing our equality and harmony through the internal truth that we have been ignorant, the other civilizations have been ignorant of other truths that God was raising up in Islam and Buddhism and, uh, Confucian. and Confucianism and, uh, and the Hinduism there is great truths and in African culture too there has been great truths and in uh, the Native Americans there are great truths too. So all these will participate in, their, in the goodness, in their truth that is universal, will come to the table uh, of all humanity and uh, therefore we know there True Father is calling for the renewal of the United Nations. That's right. And therefore, and, and the renewal of America, and the renewal of the world. So there is hope we are aspiring to a new civilization centering on the three great blessings yeah. and uh, taught through the divine principle. So we will come from the laws uh, that now look like are challenged here in America. The laws that are there, the, uh, even the, uh, the Supreme uh, Court, they are passing laws and things like you would absolutely question because they are ignorant of spiritual laws. Yes. They are only aware of the physical laws that the, the, that's the farthest they have gone. That's all they know. Civil rights. Yeah. So now they are changing civil rights and almost saying gay rights are also civil rights. <laughs> and saying things that were created in, by God uh, and that they have no ability to know their, their, their depth. They do not know further truth of spiritual laws that is eternal. That's right. 
that is more supreme than the Supreme Court. That's right. So, <laughs> so uh, we will come to the divine truth which is um, endowed to human beings. And this will operate centering on God. Our divineness will come true. And that is the new civilization of our divineness of operating with true love. We cannot be divine and have lies of self selfishness, individualism, materialism, and issues that contradict divineness. We have to be, to gain to become absolute divine and practice the culture of divineness, of heart. And then that way uh, we shall begin the new civilization. And therefore uh, Satan will be bound somewhere so that this freedom to practice our original divineness with God fulfilling the three blessings no one will come to interfere with our operation with God to practice and perfect our divineness this is the greatest inspiration that I read today the binding of Satan we are all human beings waiting the binding of Satan and what we read here is the binding of Satan is not is making him not active it is us to practice the four position foundation in the all the three blessings centering on God as long as we keep that vertical relationship with God and the proper horizontal relationship with each other because now we know uh, we will value each other see each other from God's viewpoint yeah uh, resolve the four fallen natures and resolve four types of sin and uh, have give and take without any of those four fallen types of sin and, uh, and uh, four fallen natures not seeing people from their God's viewpoint horizontally and vertically then this way we can resolve we will have proper order we will have proper positions we will have proper relationship we will multiply goodness then continue multiplying this culture of true love and true heart and uh, make God happy yes. our goal will be to make God happy and remove all the miseries of God mm. then when we remove the miseries of God we will have removed our own miseries right. and that will be the new civilization thank you very much yes, thank you. Anybody else wants to share about a reading today? So as we read today, the last judgment is not a day of fear, but it's a day of joy. Because that will be the transformation, the last days, as Father mentioned here. The last days is the time when the evil world, under satanic sovereignty, is transformed into the ideal world under God's sovereignty. So hell on earth will be transformed into the kingdom of heaven on earth. So therefore it will not be a day of fear. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. said. When the world will be destroyed by global catastrophes. Yeah. As many Christians believe, in fact it will be a day of joy. As yeah, I'm just repeating it when cherished hope of humankind the desire of ages will be realized so this is from our study about the end times eschatology yeah. so uh, right now in Hong Kong I have many friends there I did mission there 
they have, uh, they're under China. So they have one country but two systems. They're under China but they are now exercising their freedom because as uh, their agreement, you know, that they'll be under China, they'll have another system that they can uh, vote for their own governor, which is not influenced by China. So they should be independent. So they flock to the streets mm -hmm. and uh, they, yeah, they, they shut down the business center and that place in Wan Chai, that is a very busy place. So if uh, there's no activity, you know, and China also trades there. Mm. <laughs> it's like their portal. So, uh, of course, they, they will be hurt if this place is shut down. And it's been shut down for three days now. Mm. So uh, China eventually has to, you know, has to open their eyes and then see what's going on, you know. They need to give it or else, you know, they will, they will just sp do a spiral, it will go down. I think it will be the end of uh, an evil, you know, uh, world of, you know, where they violate human rights. Yeah. And even in Ukraine, they resist the former Soviet Union, you know, an agent of the KGB who is now the, the president of Russia, uh, Vladimir Putin. He used to be with the KGB, and he still wants to revive the old Soviet Union. Yeah. So uh, he cannot do that. So all over the world, including America and Europe, are giving sanctions even to Russia yeah. to make Ukraine live as it, you know, as in freedom. A free yes. And now we have a new president, president leader in Iraq. In Afghanistan, they, they have a new president too. So everything is changing right now. And these people will tackle all the problems. Yeah. Even with ISIS and then, of course, eventually Syria would really be transformed, you know. Yeah. And they need religious leaders too. In fact, it was hastened by, you know, uh, having, you know, harmony with the Sunnis and the Shiites which is fighting until now. And they don't bomb their, their, you know, they're one religion, but they're fighting. And the Shiite, of course, are influenced by I Iran. So Iran has to really, you know, stop this war mongering. And then we have invited people also from Iran in our UPF, uh, you know, uh, Universal Peace Federation, which is, uh, a part of, you know, helping UN to uh, transform many things. So, uh, uh, so last night I shared to everybody in the PTV4 in Philippine TV, our former uh, uh, Speaker of the House was there with our our President of the Unification Church, the Family Federation for World Peace, and the Interreligious Federation. Uh, for world peace, they, they were there, and they show this book. This is the the book that will transform, yes. and this is what we are reading: <laughs> the world scriptures yes. transform the world. They said this is the book of uh, Reverend Moon. Yes. It was made to uh, uh, you know uh, to uh, promote promote. Uh, Interreligious, uh, yeah, harmony, and of course, his book, you know, the peaceful, global, loving, uh, peace-loving global citizen, which is making all over the world and transform many people. So uh, that will be the Chung Il Guk, a real Chung Il Guk here on Earth, kingdom here, on Earth. and uh, the former speaker of the house is really, you know, because he also made a book before Father which he claims as a global Filipino, but of course, that speaks about our country and about him. Mm. It should be a citizen of global, mm. citizen all over the world. So you're not any more Filipino, but you're a new, yeah. a new person, a new ideal person. Yeah. So uh, he admit, you know, at least, you know, he did uh, 
something also for uh, influencing all over the world, global. But we need all this uh, transformation right now, and it's very encouraging. It's not a, a you know a chaotic world, but it will be an orderly world. An ideal world is ca coming. So anybody else? So if there's none, let's it's 551. Let's all rise and have unison prayer. Our most beloved family parents, we're so thankful for this meeting today. It will inspire us for months and years to come. We pray, our heavenly parents, that we can realize this world of peace as we also promote the unification of North and South Korea. We pray also for the Middle East and Ukraine and even now, what is happening in Hong Kong, we pray that they will triumph over a Goliath and we pray that they can really also be protected and join us in the Interreligious Federation for World Peace. And we pray also for the United Nations that is working hand in hand with the ABLE UN, which is the Universal Peace Federation for World Peace that was established by our two parents in 2005. We pray since then until now, it's starting out a kingdom of heaven here on earth. We pray that our two parents will be magnified, not only in the Far East, but here in America and Europe and Africa, and all over the world, we pray that as many of our brothers and sisters and ministers here who went around the world with him in reading about his peace messages, we pray that it will be the ones that many people will read and they'll be inspired instead of being restless and looking at a gloomy world, a world of fear, a world of chaos. We pray that there is opportunity here in our heavenly parents for all the people to come and learn about the divine principle and fulfill the responsibilities and bring the devil or Satan to his knees. And we pray all of this in all our names and in my name. And the national Francis, Sikha, Talan, Bless, Central Family, our Jew, our Jew, our Jew. Uri Yes, 